My viewers and subscribers, I have bought this weight here. This ball is saying it's 30 pounds. This is saying 30. In my mind, that means the overall thing is 60 pounds. Well, the salesperson on the floor at the store where I bought this told me that this is a 30 pound weight. I'm not going to um, argue with the person about that. I purchased it and I brought it home. But as you can see, I only bought one, which means that should be what I plan to use with one of my hand, right? But I am not at the stage yet where I can hold 60 pounds in each hand and raise them up as I would want to. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to create a jig, make a jig, which will enable me to lift this weight here with both hands. If you notice right now, the space between here and here would be too small for both of my hands to, to grip the steel bar. So I'm going to make a jig that extends out from this end and out from this end so that I can lift from outside here with my right hand and with my left hand over this side. All right, so the rest of the video will show you how I go about making that jig and attaching it to this weight in order to get to use it the way I want to. Stay tuned and watch the process. So I have brought it out into my backyard and to my little workbench and where I'm gonna go through the process of making this jig. Keep watching. This is what inside my little place looks like. I have a circular saw here which I know I'm gonna need. I have a drill here which I also know I'm gonna need. I'm gonna take out this battery charger just in case. And I have a sander here that I may need to use briefly. Additionally, I'll need my trusted tri-square or speed square as it is called. I will need a ruler. And a trusty measuring tape. All right. And I'll just carry my tool bag with me and my glue. my drop cord, all of them over to the workbench. Here's everything on my workbench, randomly displayed. Now I'm gonna go unroll my, my drop card so I can use it for the drill and the saw charger if I need to. Stick around. I have plugged in my drop card and now I have the, the battery for my saw getting some juice I'm not sure how much I need I'm going to start working and then I have to stop okay even though it's 
a small job I'm making sure that it is boosted up for whatever cutting I need to do all right same shape is gonna be cut through the middle of this and this and then I'm gonna use this in my drill to cut a hole in there through where I'm gonna put the handle that I will use to lift okay so there will be two holes one to help with the cutting out of the hexagon another one up here to put the handle through the handle bar so now that I have cut out the pieces to fit around the weights these holes that you are seeing here one in the top piece and one in the bottom piece I'm gonna get one long arm that I will fit through there and it will extend out to the side on both sides I will lock that in place and then that will be my lifting handle alright I believe you are getting the picture now alright yeah we are on our way now getting a glimpse the fact that it's not a hundred percent neat it is functional right so we are on our way you can see the holes through which I'm gonna put the lifting bar all right that's enough for now critique yeah and I'm still not done with this all right so I have found a piece of scrap two by four that I'm gonna shape to make the lifting bar see that I just marked off the length I'm gonna use and now I'm gonna square it up a rectangle that will fit tightly into that those holes there yeah this is how it goes when you don't have a proper workshop but you get an idea you have the skills to execute the idea sometimes you just need a little workbench in the backyard like this and you can do what pleases you Purchase the things you need, you store them and you take them out when you need to use them just like that. Right now I will be happy when I'm able to lift my weight in the way I want it to. So here it is now. I have used my sander and I have made my lifting arm and I have stuck it in place. What I'm gonna do is put screws through the top part here. Put a screw through here, one or two screws through here to hold that in place. And then I'll shape the outer edges of this frame here. And then I'll be done. Except I decide to put color on it and sand it later on. But for now, it will be functional and usable. And that's it. discretion I can use it for the purpose that I started out thinking that it could be used for and so there you have
have it courtesy of these critique. This is an idea that you could choose to imitate. 